Hi guys. Picked this fella up in Poundland, along with several other ones. I'm going to look to see if I can actually turn him around in any way. Because a regular question I get on my solar rockers, or regular comment, is they're all facing the wrong way. But when you've got them in the window, they're facing out if you want the sun on their panel. Which is all right if you just want your neighbours to be looking at him. But if you want to be looking at him, then he's the wrong way round. So the question is, can we turn it round? On that one, I 3D printed a separate solar panel. So, or separate mount for a separate solar panel. So we got one front and back. So he works either way. He's quite happy. That guy's actually designed to have his solar panel that way round. So he's okay. That one had four little plastic posts going down through into the base that I levered off. Two of them broke, two of them came up after I uh, ground the other ends of them off because they'd been melted in place. He turned around absolutely fine and he works that way round, so there was no problem realigning the magnet or anything. So he's happy. But this fella may be a bit more of a problem. Looks to me like the whole thing is molded in one piece. There's no base to lift up or get off. He's just Molded right the way up through the middle, front and back. Well, we'll have a look, see if we can see inside anyway. Oh, yes, I think he is going to come apart. Some of these, they glue them and you can't get them apart. But this guy. He's coming apart nicely. Excellent. So we can see what we've got. There's absolutely no way we can just turn that around. Um, let's come in a bit closer. Focus. Right. What we have, we've got the coil with very thin wires on it, which you do not want to break. We've got the circuit board, which has a black blob on one side and a capacitor. And then through there is the solar panel. So solar panel up to the circuit board. The two wires are directly across the capacitor. I don't know if we can see that. So the capacitor and the two white wires in this case go to the same two tags. And then the wires that go up to the, the coil go onto those two tags. And then the black blob has got the circuitry in it that charges the capacitor off the solar panel and then discharges through the coil. It actually senses when the magnet on the rocker goes past the coil and sends a pulse of <laughs> sends a pulse of electricity to make it rock that's why it's rocking i'll just stop that again
So that's pulses of electricity being stored in, well, the power is being stored in the capacitor and then discharged through the coil. And that just there is a counterbalance weight. So, in answer to question, there's no simple way of turning that guy around. What you'll have to do is either print, like I did for the other one, a base with a little mount on the back of it for the solar panel, or potentially you could cut into there and mount a panel on it. And then run wires across and join them up to exactly the same place that the existing solar panel goes. I'll have a little think about this as to which is the, I mean, for me, 3D printing something to go on there is probably the easiest option. Because I've got a 3D printer. But the other option is physically cut a hole just there. I mean, you don't even need to do that. I've got um, <laughs> probably half a dozen or more of these upstairs in the side window. One of uh, two of them, I've got wires come all the way out, go to solar panels that hang on the outside of the blinds in the window. So they get their solar panel when the blinds are drawn and then the power comes in and is fed directly in. In this case, you could just get either take that panel off or get another panel and just hot glue it on the back there. Or blue tack even would hold it in place. I'll go and see if I've got a set another panel tucked away somewhere that we can just put on the back here and link through to that one. Right, found another solar panel. Let's come off another solar rocker at some time. Got some thin wire. So I am thinking that we could cut a hole in the back of him. Yeah, cut a hole in the back of him, mount that on the inside, looking out. And it may not look too bad if I'm reasonably careful how I cut the hole. So that's plan A. I'll probably get the Dremel out and see what we can do. I'm not a big fan of Dremels, but I've cut along the top, along the bottom, across at an angle there so I've got two separate pieces and a little bit on either end there so I should be able to work that out. I suppose I could try and do it on camera, push that through, push that through, there we go, I'll trim them up and then we'll see if we can get that in behind. I've just soldered rather long wires onto the panel so that I've got plenty of maneuverability when I'm trying to get it back together. I'll now solder these directly onto the back of those existing ones. I really want to get it the right way round. Ah, right. How do we know it's the right way round? The capacitor has a negative side and a positive side. The negative side's the bit that's got the silver or white 
on the cover. That's the negative side. Just out of interest, is that going to be... Yes, that is the negative on that side there. Negative on that one, follow that wire around. That goes to the one that I say is negative on there. I know you can't see that very clearly, but if you follow what I'm saying, negative on the solar panel is going to negative of the capacitor. It's also negative on the left-hand side there, which I put a bit of blue paint on the wire and blue on that one, so I know which one's which. So that one is going to go onto the negative there. And that one is going to go on a positive. There's not enough room for you to see what I'm doing. So I shall go ahead and solder it. If you get really close in, which we can't with this particular camera, but we can see there's actually plus and minus marked on the, um, on the circuit board. So plus over there and minus over there. I'll do a close up shot so we can see it right as you can see that's rocking happily what i'm going to try and do is cover over the solar panel so that one's covered over stop it rocking So now it should be running off that one. I'm mean, going to run off both of them. But hopefully we've got that one covered over. As you can see. So it's running off that one. So I'll now put that in there. I was going to use blue tack. I did think of uh, hot glue, but hot glue actually melts in the sunshine if you leave it long enough. So blue tack I do use quite a bit. But I've also got some of this, what I'd call plasticine. Um, it's not Play-Doh. Some people may know Play-Doh. It's similar, but plasticine is the what we call it in the UK. And that's what I've used in the back there pushed it in gently you don't want to push it in hard or you might snap the solar panel and then i'll just tidy it up in there with the tip of my knife and that is working so we'll tidy this up so the wires don't spring up and get caught on the back of there just move them around the bottom somewhere and push it back together so there we are finished I will take that cover off. We don't need it on there. It's quite happy to go from either side. But we are now running off that panel. I will just take you upstairs and show you the other cats. I can't remember how to pronounce what they're called. Yeah, these are my other solar cats. And they're not getting enough sunlight at the moment. Even the ones that have got their panels hanging out through the blinds haven't got enough. Oh, that one just started. I didn't touch it. Oh, I know what happened there, because I moved that one. The magnetism probably got the others going. And the dog. Yeah, not enough light for them. Still, I've got a couple more to add now. Well, three more to be exact. Considering there's no sunlight, it's a grey day out there. 
the solar turntable is working. And his two brothers are waving their arms as well. 